playing as Sunny. We have a very interesting build where it's a bit more like aggressive in some essence. And we got a lot of benefits through a lot of endurance. We have the perk choose fight to allow us to run faster. We have jump start as well, reducing his uh, stamina consumption on dashing. And also toughness is pretty up there at 22, 27 around there. And endurance is like 45 ish around that point. And we have another perk which this brings this all together, which is quite unique, is Jack in the Box. It's a locker perk. Essentially, when you go to a locker or any hiding spot in the game, you do get a damage reduction for a set interval of around 11 seconds at max capability. And the damage reduction at 25 right now goes up to 35, which is kind of nutty. I'm going to use my charge and choose flight. There we go. Did I use a charge and choose flight just then? Shit, did I? I might have just did it by accident without realizing. No, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Back in here. Let me be. He's baiting me. Don't teabag him. I don't know why he tried. He didn't try and kill me. I'm shocked. I didn't mean to do that light there, just then I didn't mean to do that. Heal up. Me and another small med, which hopefully is here. Didn't spawn, it's alright. Let's go over here. Now the problem is keeping the character at this low level. Heal up. Pretty close. Grab me out. Grab me out. There we go. I take no damage now. It's actually longer than three seconds between the interval. Back inside. <laughs> We're playing this game. We're playing this game. Back in lockout, I can set this up now. Thank you, Leland, for the setup. One, two, three, four. Frustrating noises. Now. I take no damage because Jack in the box. Oh my god. Good start again. No, I nearly had it. I nearly had it. Sneak attack. Back in the box. <laughs> this guy's going insane. Now get another stab, Leland. Help me out. Oh wait, we got another play here. I could die to this, can't I? I would run. It's enough damage to actually hurt me. <laughs> After all that, he doesn't even get the kill. What's we'll Savia? It seems quiet. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That is funny. Imagine like extra drip on this character, or maybe uh, changing all the perks to bounce back, so all the heals actually work out. So you just keep soaring with the blockers. But either way, that's great. Yeah, he wasted so much time. So now what ends up happening is of me taking damage. What was what I was trying to do is actually go for exchanges by delaying them. And now extractions should be open to a certain degree by my team members. If not, I can actually carry the game as well and try to help in that aspect too. If we need to. No! He didn't chase by um Hit tracker, but let face is over here. Did he see me? I feel like he saw me. Oh, he died. Ooh, that, that's gonna hurt. How do you die after all that? How do you die? That's your fellow. Welcome. Face all this time, Ghosty. Yeah, that's why I tried to. 
the build. It's quite fun. It is quite fun for that. The door's open here, which means we've got pressure valve somewhere soon. Actually, are they car battery? Is that car battery? Do we have car battery? Just hope it's open. Oh, it's car battery. Wait, shit. The voices, I can't tell. I feel like it's uh, generator, not car battery. But I'll go here, just in case. Just quickly check. That's closed. It's opened. It could be car battery. Oh, this is so free. I don't like this, much quiet. this is so free. The amount of time we just wasted is unbelievable. Also, I didn't need the Leland there until Hitchhiker came through, so we could have done it just ourselves. But a noble sacrifice, to say the least. Very noble. Is that it? I think that's pretty much it. Oh my god. I thought someone turned on the car battery. That's it. That's a freebie. And it's kind of interesting how the map works. We can actually give you information on what's occurring as well. If someone escapes, you can actually hear them yelling and know what point they took. It looks like generator was being worked on too. So I asked you, who is it? The other door, the other door, the other door's open, the other door's open. Keep running, the door's open, keep running, keep running. You're good, you're good. No! I couldn't stun her! I couldn't stun her for the save. Ah, he's shit. Boink, boink. I'm out. GG's, GG's. I tried. I tried to get the hit, but the Hitchhiker was behind as well. If it wasn't for Hitchhiker, we've actually got the stun. He stunned me and actually ruined my play. Oh, saved her. But the builds are really good. So usually what the build is supposed to do, which we showcase a bit of there, is actually meant to stall out Leatherface. And Leatherface is such a powerful character, but in situations when there's lockers, he's very weak. So by using that to your advantage there, you actually stall out the damage that he can pretty much put on, on you or on your team members. And stall that out, distract it for long enough, where other exits are open by your other team members, they are able to play the game freely. Sometimes you have one or even two kills on you while doing this, and using these local plays to advantage. Allowing us to escape there quite easily. And take away the pressure from Connie, and then pressure was me, on me, and also on Leland. And then Leland fell, he's the bias alley, but we survived, and we got the easy extract with Connie. Great stuff. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, and also code Lordy at GameStops for 10% off. And BTLMerch.com, get yourself a hoodie, show support, greatly appreciated.